Okay, so I went over a quick overview of my project yesterday. Today, uh, today I'm going to be cutting uh, just the, the gross shapes out with this with a jigsaw. I'm going to take this screw, drill a pirate pilot hole right here. Not a pirate hole, pirate pilot hole, um, and then screw this down into the wood so that this is stable and I don't need to use another clamp and then clamp this over here. So it's all made right, up to start here. Okay, so one thing I didn't notice until probably about right here is that the plug real quick. <clears throat> this guard started to go kind of um, angular on me, so I have a a weird angle here that I'm going to have to trim down. And before I go on to the next. Uh, line, I'm going to need to figure out how to lock that in. So stay tuned. I'm going to turn this off and I'll come back. So it turns out that there's a screw here that locks this plate into place, and I did not have it secured, so it uh, started to angle out. I start again on this side. I'm going to fix that. So start here. Mm. And I'm going to fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me. Do this. Okay, so there's the first blank. There's still a little bit of a odd angle, um, not a problem. It's actually a pretty straight piece of wood. Um, the other side actually came out a lot better. Um, all of this stuff can be uh, sanded down. So, okay, that's. The first one I'll put this away. Oh, and this will be nice. Um, if you can see this, there's a nice shading of the darker walnut and the whiter walnut. So when I um, get to polish all of this up, this is this is going to be really accentuated right here. So this is going to be a nice looking piece of wood. Thank you. 
I think I can get away with leaving this right here as it is. Um, and uh, and then uh, cutting this piece here and then flipping it over and then cutting the rest of this. Uh, so I'm going to try that. Okay, fast forward time again. All right, so this part, which is the least fun part, is done. I have two nice blanks, Better but it doesn't matter because I'll use my rasp and um, I think that would be fine. So. Here they are. I really like how this wood goes from light to dark. The first sword that I did for my senpai Robin, um, I inscribed uh, Hikari, which is light, um, on the handle. I'll ask her if she could snap a picture of that so I could maybe include it in one of my uh, videos. But nonetheless, um, my blanks are cut now. Now uh, comes the fun part, which is the shaping. Um, also, so uh, from here, what I need to do is I need to level all of this. I need to level the convex and concave sides. And then I'm going to need to figure out a way to taper uh, from outside to center. So for both, uh, for both the back and the front, not much, so much the front, hmm, not so much the front, but the back actually has more, usually they have more of a taper. So, uh, so anyway, that'll be in the next video.